I'm joined by Jeff Kulik, Area VP and GM with London West Hollywood, coming to us from West Hollywood, California. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing okay. Doing okay. Uh, good. How about you? How about you? Have you been through the pan- pandemic? Well, you know, it's been a bit of a rough road, but uh, patience and perseverance tends to pay off in the end. You know, uh, California still hasn't fully released all the restrictions, so we're still somewhat in a bit of a slowdown period, but uh, much better than when all the initiatives were in place. Yeah. Uh, are you seeing any bookings at all? Oh, yeah. We're uh, okay. running about 50% midweek occupancy and anywhere t- up to a sellout on weekends, depending on the weather and how nice it is here. So okay. um, we're definitely seeing bookings, but... Um, you know, we're not fully back up and operational. We're not back to our typical level of performance. And uh, I think our corporate base and, and customer base are still apprehensive and waiting to see how things unfold once the uh, restrictions are lifted. Yeah. Well, well, tell us about your property. Sure. We're a 226 uh, all suite hotel located um, adjacent to Beverly Hills. And we kind of have the best of both worlds here between what West Hollywood has to offer from dining to nightlife to, you know, what people look forward to in Beverly Hills with celebrities and shopping and things along that line. Um, We have a rooftop pool with unparalleled views. We have the largest suite from the Midwest to the West Coast on our rooftop. We entered in a partnership with Vivian Westwood, who's a famous fashion designer in London and built a 16,000 square foot two story suite on our roof. Um, so, you now know, we you, offer, you can, you can see the Hollywood sign from that spot, right? Uh, only on a very clear day. <laughs> the Hollywood <laughs> signs, a, yeah, the Hollywood <laughs> sign is a bit far away from us, but I can see okay. downtown LA. I can see Santa Monica. I can see the beach on a great day. And, uh, we have great wow. views of the Hollywood Hills as well. Yeah. So, um, the hotel is pretty amazing. It's got a 2000 square foot fitness center. I have 120 seat persons seating, uh, screening room. And um, it's just a beautiful property. Your typical traveler is what? Anywhere from celebrities to CEOs of various organizations. We have a lot of international travel, uh, transient, and also domestic travel for vacations, being that it's an all-sweet product. Um, so it's quite, it's quite a mix of guests and customers, but a lot of the entertainment companies do business here, fashion out of New York as well. So... Um, it's a bit of it's a bit of everything. People coming in from other states now that things are opening up. You know, mo- yes, they are. They're traveling, and some some from Europe, but not quite a bit. Things are still pretty much on lockdown there. But New York is a very big feeder market for us. But yes, we, um, being that we're in the land of entertainment, and this is a very big tourist destination, we do have travelers from across the country. Okay. So, how are you approaching things? these days, uh, revenue mm-hmm. generating, I mean, what, what are some of the tactics you're using to drive business? Well, we offer a lot of packages and incentives. We, we would love to have some long-term stays with us. So there are some um, offers there for um, a longer term stay discounting. Uh, we put most of our large luxury suites that range from 1400 to uh, 2200 square feet on sale. So it's a great time to stay in a luxury product at a, at a discounted price. Um, and, um, you know, just talking to our customer base and really encouraging them and letting them know that travel is happening and that we're open for business. We never closed our doors. Um, so, you know, just a a variety of different techniques that would, um, entice people to want to come and stay with us. Maybe people that are thinking of doing a driving trip out here, um, or, you know, even a, you know, a week's vacation, you know, a lot of, a lot of the pent up demand uh, for travel um, is having a lot of people travel to different destinations domestically. So mm-hmm. we're, we're a pretty awesome destination to travel to, to experience a, you know, the world of Hollywood and the land of celebrities. Right. Are people, uh, are you finding that some people are staying longer and even like working you know, we're, we we're anyway. do have workstation packages here. So okay. for people that have felt pent up in their homes, uh, we do offer a, a workstation product because you're in a, you know, our smallest suite is 720 square feet. 
So you're in a quite a, a large environment and we do offer yeah. room service. Every suite has balconies. So we have great views and people do work from our hotel. But yes, there are some long-term stay um, guests that are with us that are just traveling around and, and wanting to um, get out of their home and, you know, get, get things back to almost normal. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you, uh, you know, with the, the destination that is Hollywood, are you, uh, I mean, how's your presence on like Instagram, like, a lot, oh. lot of Instagram uh, moments in and around yeah, your hotel? Yeah, we have Instagram mobile <laughs> moments for sure. There's a lot of um, bloggers and, um, you know, hipsters that like to come here and post pictures. We have a rooftop pool. It has five cabanas. There's a fire pit up there and the views are pretty incredible. So um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you know, we're on, we're on all of those social media platforms and um, our, our audiences really, our, our audience really enjoys posting pictures of their, of their stay with us. And because it's such a beautiful location, you know, yeah. they're, they're showing off. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you, I mean, so does the hotel uh, monitor that or are you working with an agency or how do you pull that information in and use it? You know, we handle our own social media in the hotel through our sales department. And um, we don't, we, we do monitor it. We see everybody that posts something with the LondonWeho.com or something with a tagline to our name. You know, we can see what they're posting and it, it's really all good content. You know, it's mm -hmm. people that are just wanting to show pictures of themselves or show how beautiful the hotel is. Um, yeah. So um, it's all, it's all very positive. So what do you see over the next few months, the summer? What's the summer going to look like? I think it's going to boom. I think that, you know, the restrictions are here are supposed to be lifted June 15th. So we're just a week or so away from that. You know, with, the, um, with COVID being so bad in Europe and most of Europe being on lockdown, I think that the summer is really going to take off for us. Um, yeah. You know, plus the fact the Olympics are in Japan and there's really, they're not welcoming travel to that event. So I think... July, August, we're going to really be busy. So I'm looking forward to getting back to a normal environment. That's good. All right, Jeff. Uh, any advice for hoteliers before we leave? You know what? Just stay positive. Talk to your team members. Let them know that things are okay, that things are on the rebound. Uh, make it a habit to go out of your office and greet your guests and welcome them. Yeah. You know, just the basics of Hospitality 101. You know, yeah. being friendly, being engaged. Um, and showing people what hospitality is all about. So it's an opportunity to welcome new people to your hotel that may have never come out before because of COVID. So it's, um, it's great. It's a great opportunity. All right, sir. Well, thank you for joining me. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much. You bet. <laughs>